So, the full cut list for OPO6 is finally out. I was gone last week, I was on holiday, enjoying my mini honeymoon with my wife. Now I'm back. We're gonna go through every single card, starting with red, uh, for OPO6, but we're gonna use the crudely translated website. I do this every set. So, if I don't have the proper translations, I'll refer to Discord for any like updates on translations and all that. But sit back, relax, because this is gonna be a long one. We're gonna talk about all the red cards and all of the other colors in the separate videos. So, sit back, relax. And let's just talk about OPO6 cards. Let's go. All right. So starting with red. Okay, we've talked about Uta. You can watch the leader video uh, in the on the channel. But let's start with Inazuma. So <clears throat> four cost, five thousand power. Counter one thousand. That's pretty decent. And if this character's power is seven thousand or more, this character gains banish, not vanish. Once again, crudely translated from uh, the website, just using Google Translate. Uh, this card. I, it's obviously it's really good in a, a deck like Bello Betty where Bello Betty has an innate ability to just, you know, discard a card and pump this up by 3k power because it is a revolutionary type after all. It is also a you know fairly just great red card that if you are facing a metagame of yellow and you're sick of them triggering all of the trigger cards from their life, then this would be a good inclusion for that. You can just put two dawns onto Inazuma and then have it be 7,000 power or more. Usually, 4 cost 5,000 power cards are great, uh, but they tend to impact the field in, like, you know, like Rob Lucci, even though it doesn't have counters at 4 cost 6,000, but it directly affects the field. Uh, Trafalgar Law discards cards from the hand. And this requires you to be able to attack and it's conditional with power. So, uh, whether or not it's going to be. Uh, you know, seeing play in other red decks is the seems, you know, we have to wait and see. But it is an option for people to tech in against yellow decks. But more often than not, this is going to find its home in uh, a Bello Betty deck, which is perfect because of the next card which is Emporio Ivankov. So Ivankov is one of those like really powerful cards. First of all, 5 cost, 6,000 power, no counter, but on play, look at the top three cards of your deck and then play up to one character card with power 5,000 or less uh, with the characteristic of Revolutionary Army. They put the rest at the bottom of the deck in any order that you like. This Ivankov is really great. <laughs> 5 cost, 6,000, first of all, very, very good stat line. Um, but the ability, like, it's a mini searcher for Bello Betty um, or any red base decks that uses like Revolutionary Army type cards. Uh, we know that OPO7, that's a leak that uh, Dragon might be coming. That's a leak, not nothing confirmed. And also uh, in uh, the SD13, if you haven't seen my Twitter, Sabo is also uh, red and yellow, I believe, I think. Yeah, and you know, it's a Revolutionary Army type as well, so you can use Ivankov to kind of further enhance your board. It's a searcher, even though it's top three, still really good. And then you can play out something that's 5,000 power less. So you can play out Ivankov, and then you can play out Enu Nazuma. And in a deck that has predominantly Revolutionary Army type cards, you can definitely play out a bunch of stuff. Karasu is a good one to, to kind of play out. So this card's going to be a major staple. If you want to go for like the go white, go big, go white, uh, strategy for Revolutionary Army, then Ivankov, perfect fit for that. Next, we got Baron Omatsuri, 2 cost, 3,000 power, counter 1,000, and on play, um, play up to 1 Lily Carnation from your hand. Now, uh, there will be a card called Lily Carnation, which we'll talk about later. Um, whether or not it's good, uh, it still remains to be seen. We gotta take a look at the other card and discuss it as a whole. So we'll pause on this and we'll talk about Gaspar Day. Now, I am not super familiar with all of the film characters. I have not watched all of them. Um, but so if some of the translations for the names are a bit wrong, please do forgive me. Uh, 6 cost 8,000 power with counter 1,000. Pretty decent vanilla for uh, the film archetype. Uh, it's searchable by another searcher which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, that's good. Next, it's Saga, 4 cost, 5,000 power, but with counter 2,000. So, it's a 2,000 counter for the film archetype. Uh, Dawn 1, when attacking, this character gets 1,000 power until the start of your next turn. Then at the end of this turn, put one character of your uh, film type character into the trash. So, essentially, it's a really good way to be, you know, um, aggressive so it's it will be a 7000 power when you're attacking but when your turn ends it's going to be a, a 6k uh, base power so it makes it a little bit harder for your opponent to get uh, rid of it uh, but 
you have to put a character, a film type character from the field to the trash. So maybe it can work well with some other characters or other film archetype. I haven't seen the whole synergy just yet. I don't know if it's going to be a super as good as it can be because right now uh, like film type cards don't really use trash as like the synergy stuff uh mostly it's like in black like gecko moria is going to be really powerful for that this gotta wait and see but i think it may have some you know future cards that will be uh utilizing the trash a little bit more than this saga card would probably be more useful in that in that sense because hmm, doesn't matter if you if uh, like you want cuts to be in the trash that way uh but other than that it's a 2k counter so if film type cuts needs 2k counters that are, that are searchable then this is a good addition to the the deck as well next is my boy shanks 10 cost 12k super rare boom on play ko something that's ten thousand power less just straightforward really good red card i like the shanks i've seen some gameplay with like the red purple uta that just ramps up as fast as uh uta can uh, all the way to 10 then just shanks after shanks after shanks and the thing is like most of the power in this game tops out at 12k we already seen that like the highest is twelve thousand. um and like a big mom is 12k uh, we got some kaidos that's 12k so uta's innate ability uh for the leader you can discard a film type card and give something minus 2000 power and then ramp uh ramp a rested dawn yeah in that case like you don't even need to utilize the your dawns for that uta's ability all you have to do is just cut a card so that's a free minus 2000 right there on your leader uh, once per turn but still really good and then you drop down the shanks you can ko literally anything in the game really powerful stuff shanks is gonna be one of the new boss monsters or powerhouses for that specific deck or any rate based deck that wants to use shanks i really love this card have you seen the alternate art oh my god so good i should make a video for the alternate i will just toy hang on uh next up we got schneider three cost five thousand power we've gone to one thousand great <laughs> and then we got Shuria, uh, three cost, four thousand power with counter one thousand. We talked about the super res in a separate video, but just to quickly go over it, it's a blocker. And then when attacking and when blocking, this character, uh, or this character's power will be the same as your opponent's uh, leader. So yeah, that's I remember the effect. That's that's basically what it is. So when you're blocking, if your leader attacks and you block, you can just counter one K because it matches the power automatically. Or when you're attacking to leader, it auto automatically matches your leader's uh power uh your opponent's leader's power so that's great great attacker great defender i haven't seen uh the full you know potential of shuria just yet but i think this is going to be a sleeper hit for red uh, especially against like green yellow yamato that's probably going to be very popular uh, maybe in the early game you can just easily counter out of an attack so that's great Next, we got Douglas Bullet with the six sick artwork. Six costs 7,000 power with counter 1,000. And if your leader has the film type, uh, this character gains blocker. So, conditional, yes, but you are probably going to be using Douglas uh, Bullet as a card in maybe like Uta or any like film type leader. I don't know. That, that, like pro probably Uta for now, red, purple Uta. Um, and yeah, you can give it blocker. I mean, it has blocker, so it's a great attacker. I mean, decent stats, 6 cost, 7,000 power, but with the option to be a blocker, it's really, really good. Uh, this kind of conditional blockers is good because it, um, like it's conditional based on your leader, which is always on the field and not like whether you have a certain number of cards in your hand, certain number of cards on the field. So that's really good. So this kind, I like. Can't wait to see it being played. I love the artwork. Let's move on to Todd Musica. Let's go. 5 cost, 6,000 power. Counter 1000. Uh, spoilers for those who have not seen Film Red. Yeah, this is uh, the big bad, I would say. Uh, once per turn, um, activate main once per turn, you can use one of your Uta cards as rest. So I think you rest one of your Uta cards, then this character gains plus 5k power during this turn. Very on flavor. Just mind you, that's, that's really, really on flavor. Um, and it's really good. If you're not using your leader for to attack... Uh, into your opponent you can rest i'm assuming you can rest your uta leader because it's uta cards right or a card with the uta name so either a blocker uta um or your leader and then you can just like swing in for 11k like it's a late game push this would be a really good one to have i'm kind of excited to see uh whether people you know use Todd musica as a one or two off in the deck just as like a final like big push go tall 
Um, not sure how it's going to end up in the overall meta game because it can easily be more because it's activate main and you want to be attacking. Um, yeah, so it's like if it survives a turn, it's going to be really powerful. If not, it's just a 5 cost 6k. It's, it, people can remove it. I mean, everything in Sakazuki can remove this. But still, really cool. Top Musica. Love the song as well. But let's move on to Bear King. I'm pretty sure there's a proper name for it. But yeah, 5 cost 6,000 power with counter 1,000. If, if, if your opponent has a leader or character with original power of 6,000 or more, this character cannot be KO'd in battle. So it's a counter against Red, Purple, Luffy, uh, White Beard. If you know the English release unbans him in, in time for OPO 6. But over here, White Beard is still playable. So that that's good. Uh, any like Purple uh, Luffy with a Eustace kit that can be buffed by like the use of skits ability, 6,000 power. Yeah, but, you know, it's just kind of, man, run of the mill card. Um, yes, maybe it's good. But the thing is, like, right now, Sakasuki is so popular. So being KO'd in battle, it's not a problem. Being removed on the field is because you can just bottom deck this. You can put it into your life with Katakuri as well. So nah, don't think it's super great currently in the meta game. But if there's more, like, removal type, cards in the future um if the meta game diverts back to that then you know backing could be really good but other than that yeah right now it's not really great in this current meta game next we got luffy yo two cost three thousand power with counter one thousand uh on play look at the top three cards of your deck then reveal up to one card the film type and then add it to your hand and put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order and trigger is you can play it's a shura essentially except only three cards of the top of your deck um but it's really good I mean, this is your dedicated film searcher. And if you play this in, let's say, uh, a, a red-green Luffy, you can have this and you can have Nami. So you get like two searchers. In a red-purple Uta, you can have Luffy and you can have Buena Fiesta as two searchers. One such as five, one such as three. But the fact that it has trigger, you know, means that you can play it for free if, you, if your opponent hits it in your life and you get to search. Great card. And I love the alternate art for this um, out probably flash it on the screen if i can and yeah monkey d luffy definitely going to be a staple for the film type cards moving forward or at least the deck itself next we got ratchet one cost zero power that's that's strong 1000 power uh counter 1000 sorry so when your opponent attacks you may discard any number of cards with the uh film type from your hand for each card you discard your leader or character gets a thousand power during this battle so it's kind of like countering in a way, like, uh, like you know how Ace discards like events or stage for a thousand power. This is sort of similar, uh, except it has to be on the field, and you have to discard uh, specifically film type cards, which you know you probably have if you play a film based deck. Kind of interesting. I think this might be good uh, as like a defensive thing. You set it up early, and then every single attack, if you don't have enough counter, you can counter and then add additional one k with a. a a dud like a non-counter card so could be cool uh, i'm just like maybe uh we have to wait and see to see if people actually play ratchet in their decks but uh, as of now i think it's just i think it has potential that's what i'm gonna say oh uh, here we go we now we got lily carnation now this is a weird one so first of all four cost zero power with counter 1000 um activate main once per turn you can place one character with uh, six thousand power or more in the trash then you can place up to one character card with the film type with 2,000 or with power 2,000 to 5,000 from uh, in your trash on rest and play on your side of the field. So like I have to see more film type cards. Kind of the, the my immediate my immediate kind of um, uh, brain goes into like okay sure you trash something that you don't want to use and then you bring out a searcher could be okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a strat to this maybe i'm not seeing it just yet um but yeah like this guy can bring that uh clearly carnation out for free and like but you have to kind of k uh you have to ko something six thousand power on your side of the field so it has to be something that's really worth it something that will benefit be from being in the trash or being ko'd um maybe we have to look at the on ko kind of effects and then see if it works with Lily Carnation. And then you can bring out something like a Luffy Searcher because it's 3000 power. And then you get to search. So like that, I can see it generating value. Um, maybe we don't have the full suite of whatever uh, cards from Omatsuri Island um, just yet. Maybe in more future sets like that might be revealed. 
But there you go. I mean, like, I really like the uh, the art on this. And I know this is from a very popular One Piece film, uh, but I have not watched it. <laughs> I've seen clips of it because it's like really, really dark, but I have not watched it myself. So I'm going to I'm gonna do it before like the set comes out, hopefully. And then let's talk about Race Max. I mean, I'm thinking there's a different name for this. I'm just using the translations right now. But this is a really great card, guys. One cost 2,000 power. Part of the Revolutionary Army in film, so it's searchable. And uh, this character can be placed, uh, oh sorry, activate main. This character can be placed at the bottom of the owner's deck after one of your opponent's characters gets minus 3000 power during this turn. This is essentially a, a functional reprint of Gordon. Uh, the the Gordon uh, from like the Uta special you know, promo. And then, yeah, and finally, I mean, it only took you what, like five sets or six sets, uh, sorry, four sets to print a functional reprint of a card that's actually really pretty hard to get without paying like a stupid amount of money for. This should have been like reprinted earlier, but I'm glad they did it. You know, that's great. So now the problem is you can have the option to play a deck with eight of this similar type. Like you can have like four race max and four uh, gardens uh, in your deck that is searchable and with this kind of effect. I don't know if you want to play eight. I mean, it's kind of like that's a lot. But if it calls for it, then for sure like, that might be really good. But I'm just glad that there's a reprint because I myself, I have like the Uta uh, like promo pack, but I've, I ha I've kept it sealed. I only I bought two. I, I opened one. I kept the other one sealed. So I only technically only have two Gordons. So this would be good because I want, I want a full play set. And yeah, this would be really useful in Red Purple Uta, minus 3000, any Red decks. Uh, Ace could potentially use this as well uh, to kind of set up the, the potential Fire Fist, like a really good value Fire Fist. And... This is good. I mean, like, Red Purple uh, Law has been using Gordon. So if those players don't have access to Gordon, uh, they can just wait for OPO6 and then you know, get your race max. So that's really good. Without spending, like, a shit ton of money on Gordon. That's, it's ridiculous, the pricing. I mean, some, I think I've seen some go up to, like, $15 or six twenty dollars Not worth that price, honestly. But, okay, Function Repin, great. Bandai, great. All right, there's only three events in Raid, and all of them are film-based. So first of all is Meteor Strike of Love, two-cost event card with main slash counter. You can add one life card to your hand, up to one of your leader or character gets plus 3,000 power during this turn. So great that it's main, like, but there are other cards that do this, but better. Uh, unless you want to be adding cards to your hand, like essentially it's like draw one and then give something plus 3k power. Um, I don't know, I don't really see this card being used as much. Just don't see the value of having this card just yet. But yeah, I think it's going to be one of those events that people pass on. And then next is Gomu Gomu Great Ape King Shootout. All right, two cost uh, event card with main. Give up to one of your leader or up to one character plus 3,000 power during this turn. After that, if your opponent has a character with power over 7,000, your leader or up to one uh, character gets plus 1,000 for this turn. So essentially, you are giving something plus 3k. And then if your opponent has something that's 7k or less, uh, 7k or more, sorry, um, then your character, the chosen character gets plus 4k instead. So that's great. I mean, it's these decent, but I don't uh, like, we have other event cards that just straight up give plus 4k. <laughs> so non-conditional. Oh, there you go. But trigger, k up to one character, opponent's character with power 5,000 or less. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've seen, you know, uh, cards like that. Uh, already, but right now a lot of the meta game is the four cost six thousand powered characters, uh, which is really really difficult to get rid of through triggered events, and people can play around it as well. You know, people have been playing around Jet Pistol as well, but now it's being less, uh, seeing less play. So this may not see any play at all. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see people playing this as much. So it's probably going to be one of those events that people pass on. Uh, but if it's good, you know, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to be proven wrong. I just from from my first impression. There you go. And then next is Blue Dragon Seal Running Water. I know there's a proper name for this. I'm sorry for the crude translation. Three costs. Main. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with power 5,000 or less. And trigger. KO up to one of your opponent's characters with power 4,000 or less. This is great. I like this one. It's another form of removal in combination with Red Purple Uta. You can combine it with Race Max to give something minus 3k and then pop something that's 8,000 power with just this. Um, and then the trigger as well has the potential to you know destroy something that's 4,000 power less. So that's really good. I feel like 
we have to be wary of this type of card, any removal in general for uh, Red Purple Uta, because right now a lot of black decks are running Marcelino, running the Chapapa guy, and then like um, Sabo. Sabo prevents the stuff from being KO'd for the turn that it's being played. So you have to be smart in when you're playing this. If you're expecting a Sabo, you got to play it first or you can out can outlast the Sabo turn or something like that. But I think it's a good card because it's an additional form of removal, just straight up KO something that's 5,000 power less. So you don't really need a full four, maybe like a one or two, and then in combination with Uta's ability, something like Race Max or Gordon, you can KO essentially a lot of things in the game. So that's really good. And I think that's it for all the red cards. So we're going to move on to the green cards in the next video. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Just sit back, relax. I'm going to talk about all the colors. Don't worry. Opio 6 is coming soon. Can't wait. That's it for red. Move on to green. Let's go.